Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. If it's morning where you are, it's definitely morning here. It's bright and early, but I'm excited for today's video because we're doing another Get Productive With Me video. I filmed another one of these a while back, and you guys seem to really like the casual vlog style day in my life type of videos. I'm really glad you did because I had a lot of fun filming it. Today's video is also sponsored by Chromebook. In the last video, I showed you guys how I incorporate my Chromebook into my everyday life and how it helps me stay productive and organized. And we're gonna be doing the same thing today because Chromebooks are seriously a game changer. They're awesome and you'll see why throughout the video. But anyways, we have a jam-packed day ahead of us so we should probably get ready for the day. So let's go. Of course, I have to start off my day with some coffee. My coffee machine is by Nespresso. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know that this has been my new obsession. I love it so, so much, and I've been trying out all of the new flavors. I forgot which flavor this one is, but they all kind of taste the same to me. I just need the caffeine in my body. Every morning for breakfast, I always make some avocado toast. I know that's very millennial of me, and I actually injured my finger making avocado toast. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I got stitches from trying to cut an avocado, but we're back in the game. I could not stay away from avocado. It's just such an easy breakfast that's also healthy, and it definitely fills you up for the morning. So that's what I'm making right now, and um, I don't know. Gotta have my daily avocado. After breakfast and coffee is when I usually get ready, so I do my makeup, hair, change out of my pajamas so I'm not looking like a complete mess. And this is also when I will make my bed. Uh, you can kind of see that my bedroom looks kind of empty right now because my place is still new and I just moved in, so don't judge. It's very white and very empty. All right, so I just finished doing my makeup, making the bed, you know, breakfast, all of the typical morning things. I find that mornings are very crucial for me. If I don't do all of those like productive morning things like making the bed and getting ready, I just feel like it sets up my day to not be productive. So we've done all of those things. So today is gonna be a good day. I can feel it. But now it's time for me to sit down and do my morning planning time. You guys know I do this every single morning. I always set aside like 20 to 30 minutes to game plan my day and really outline what I want to do and what I need to finish. So let's go crack open my Chromebook and my bullet journal and get planning. As I mentioned, I always absolutely have to have this planning time at the beginning of my day, especially since I do work from home, I need to have these sort of in-office hours, and the Chromebook is awesome for this. I always use it um, and have it open with, when I'm bullet journaling so I can kind of go back and forth and you know go through my emails, write down any tasks that need to be done, and you can also access your files from anywhere, so on your phone or on your tablet, which is so awesome. Another feature that I make a lot of use out of is the tablet mode. You can just flip it and then draw right on it. So I use this to plan out any videos or doodles that I have to do. If you're curious, mine is the Samsung Chromebook Pro, but if you want to learn more about Chromebooks, definitely check out the link in the description box below. All right, so this is my weekly spread for the week. As you can see, I've already created quite a hefty to-do list for the day and got started like playing ahead for the week. Today is a big filming day, so we're gonna be filming pretty much all day making stuff for the channel, drawing, you guys know the deal. Okay, so I just finished filming the first video that I had to film today. Didn't really take that long. It's about, what time is it right now? I think it's about, yeah, it's 11.30. So we're making good time here. I do have another video that I have to film today, but I've already been filming for like an hour, so I need a little bit of a break. So I thought I would distract myself <laughs> with another task. That's just what I do, procrastinating with other tasks in order to make myself feel more productive. We are a bit ahead of schedule, so I have time to do something that, you know, makes me feel very at peace. As some of you guys may know, I moved into a brand new place earlier in the summer, like maybe 
couple months ago. It's still kind of empty and not really settled in yet because I've been traveling a lot and just too busy to deal with all of that. So I will be doing an apartment tour soon, but nothing is really set in stone like the way everything's set up now. But the one thing that I have been working really hard on is my closet. Actually, funnily enough, the last Get Productive with me was in my old place and then this one is in my new place. So. That just shows you how much has changed in between those two days. But anyways, in my old place, I didn't really have a walk-in closet. It was just one of those sliding door things. But in this place, I have a walk-in closet, which I'm so excited for. But my parents actually helped me build a little drawer unit to put into the walk-in closet, which I have yet to fill yet. So everything's kind of like thrown around in random places and stuffed in my closet. And I've been meaning to clean it all up and reorganize it just because now that I have so much space I can finally make it very I don't know what this is but very organized and my perfectionist soul will be at ease so I'm super excited only I would get excited about cleaning a closet I'm going to go put some stuff in some drawers you know maybe move some boxes around you'll see how it looks in there I know a lot of you guys have been asking for like apartment tour don't worry it's coming soon um, but for now, you guys are gonna get a little bit of a closet tour. All right, so here is the closet. This is the star of the show today. This is the drawer unit that I was talking about. So I wanted to, you know, assign certain types of clothes to certain drawers and reorganize everything. So let's do this thing. So in this clip, I'm literally just folding clothes, which is probably the most mundane task ever. And I know that some people might find this boring, but I'm actually folding my clothes in a very specific way. I believe it's called the KonMari method. It's uh, There's a book by this lady named Marie Kondo, and it's or M Marie Kondo, and she has a very specific way of folding things and organizing. I actually haven't read the book, but I saw a bunch of pictures on the internet, of course, and that's how I learned about that method. I finished most of the reorganizing and I'm actually so happy with the way everything turned out. I'm gonna show you guys some of it, but I feel like I've gotten a bit of an adrenaline rush off of that. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I've done. So these two top drawers is like socks and underwear. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys that obviously, but we also have like comfortable home shirts. Um, my main project for today was refolding everything so that it could stand vertically. I used to fold things and then like stack it this way, um, but it was so hard to see everything and then everything would eventually become a mess and a jumbled up like pile of clothes. But this way it's almost like a filing cabinet so you can just like see all of the shirts that you have. So those are just like comfortable home shirts. This was my main project because I have so many t-shirts as you guys can see. So I refolded it all and did the vertical thing as well and now it's just so much easier for me to see everything and find everything. In this drawer we have shorts and skirts. It's not completely filled up yet. Some of the stuff is in the wash because I was just wearing it. Down here is all of my jeans and pants. This one is so satisfying to look at because it fit perfectly. And then the last drawer, these are like hoodies and warmer clothing. Like I have like my Christmas onesies and sweatpants and all of that stuff. Um, and then the last thing I did, I did reorganize this earlier. So I just moved around the coats. So now it's in order of color as well as... Um, like weather type like the colder jackets are over there and then these are just like my lighter jackets i filled up these bins these bins are from ikea and this one i have like my everyday bags and purse options i do have more up there this bin is like accessories like belts and that type of stuff and then down here i have my shoe rack so these are the shoes that i'm not currently wearing i have like my everyday shoes near the entryway so yeah that's the current state of my closet it's not completely done yet i'll probably give you guys like a full closet tour once i do my apartment tour but wow that just re-energized me and i really enjoyed that all right so that was a nice little closet cleaning interlude break, but I'm probably just gonna go grab some coffee, maybe some lunch before we get back into the groove of finishing up uh, the videos that I have to film. So yeah, let's go get some coffee because your girl needs it. Oh, 
got my coffee. It's kind of weird. Usually I get like just a regular iced coffee with coconut milk, but they had this new like blended drink. Pretty good, but they actually messed up my order, so I ended up also getting the messed up order. So this is just like a regular cold brew, but you know what? The more coffee, the merrier. So I'm definitely going to be a little amped up during this day, but we have a lot of filming to get through, so this is going to help a lot. Alright, so filming round two. Except this time around, I actually had to film the drawing portions of the videos, so from the overhead angle. These are my favorite clips to film because I can actually just pop open my Chromebook and watch videos, listen to podcasts, maybe some Netflix. By the way, if you're curious about my filming setup and the lights and tripod that I use, I do have a whole video on that. Alright, so I just finished filming everything that had to be done for today. I'm really glad I got that done and perfectly on time too because it's time to cook some dinner. Today is actually my meal prep day. I made sure that I was filming this video on a day when I was actually going to be doing some cooking because you guys really enjoyed watching me do that last time as well. But I hate to tell you, I'm doing the exact same thing, stir frying some vegetables, except changing it out with some noodles because that's pretty much the extent of my cooking skills. So I'm just going to get that ready for the week so I have a big tub of it that I can just reheat. So far, it's been a very productive day and I've just been checking a lot of things off of my to-do list in my bullet journal and it's just very satisfying. I feel like I didn't give my cooking skills enough credit in that last clip. While I'm not the best cook, I can definitely hold my own in the kitchen. I know what I'm doing. It's more so that I'm just lazy, so I tend to go for recipes that have minimal prep, minimal pot and pan usage, and also things that can keep well in the fridge because as I mentioned, when I set aside time to cook, it's usually just at the beginning of the week and then I will just have that for the rest of the week and reheat it in the microwave because uh, I'm, I'm lazy like that. So <laughs> I'm doing my typical stir fry recipe. I have some red peppers, some zucchinis, also some snap peas and king mushrooms, but it's pretty much just any vegetables that you find in the grocery store. Sometimes I'll switch it up depending on what I'm feeling like. And then I'll throw those into the pan with some coconut oil and my pre-made stir fry sauce. No, it's not store-bought stir fry sauce. I actually mix it up beforehand and then keep it in a bottle in the fridge so I can whip it out when I'm cooking. That's another little fast cooking tip for you. But basically, I cooked each of the different types of vegetables separately in the pan with the sauce. Mostly because my pan is small and I didn't have enough space to put it all in together. But also, each vegetable has like different cook times and whatever. And then once I mixed it all with the noodles, I put it in a container for the fridge. And I had some fresh stir fry for dinner that I ate while watching some more Netflix. <laughs> I'm currently in the middle of binge watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is why you see me watching a lot on my Chromebook in this video. But anyways, after dinner, I just clean up, put some of the clean dishes away from my dishwasher. But after dinner, I actually hung out with some friends, got some dessert. But by the time I got back, it was nighttime. And this is what I like to call my chill time. After a full day of filming and working, I like to turn on my diffuser with some mandarin essential oil. That's my favorite. And then maybe jam out on my ukulele a little. And yeah, that was my day. All right, guys. So we made it to the end of the day. Uh, as you can see behind me, it is nighttime. I know you guys always ask about like when I bullet journal and stuff. I Today I kind of actually bullet journaled throughout the day. I didn't want to, you know, film every time I pulled out my bullet journal. But um, I was like constantly checking off tasks. I was using it a lot for filming, which I did get a lot of filming done today as well. So I'm really happy with uh, my checklist today. Thank you again to Chromebooks for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to learn more about Chromebooks and how they can help you become more productive in your everyday life, then be sure to click that link in the description box below. But anyways, I think I'm going to get ready for bed, you know, have some chill time, maybe watch a little bit of TV. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye everyone.